James, fantastic result for Glentoran tonight and on a personal note, you getting your first goal for the club as well. Yeah. You must be really happy with that. that that's it. We knew coming here, you know, Portadown would probably set off us a wee bit and, and make it hard for us, just like Dungannon did on Tuesday night. Uh, we had a really tough start to the season against Lauren and, and uh, Crusaders and we came away with four points, so we knew the next round of games after that would have to take maximum points, you know, to be up there. So just delighted to get the three points and yeah, delighted to score as well and the first goal for Glen Thorn. Uh, so yeah, just delighted, but the main thing was getting three points. Did you thank Jay for that nice pass for your goal? <laughs> yeah, we're having a, bit, having a wee laugh there. <laughs> I was just saying to you there at half time, the boys were saying it's a, it's a great assist, it's a great pass. Like, But no, it just fell to me kindly and I seen the, sort of the, the, the side of the net was open and the keeper was the other side, so it was just a simple finish. In the first couple of minutes of the game, Porta Down actually were down at your end, um, but then Glen Torn grew into the game, and from then on, you really, really controlled it. Yeah, they started really well. To be fair to them, like we thought they would have maybe you know, sat back from the start, but they didn't. They pressed us a wee bit at the start, and then we, we sort of played our way into it and scored a couple of goals. And being brutally honest, we, we should have had a few more. Um, we've missed a few chances tonight, but we'll take a three 0 away win all day long. What was the difference? Do you think in the two teams tonight was it your midfield and forwards were just too fast? Down. I just think we were, we were just a wee bit more organised and, and a wee bit sharper and, and that comes from you know obviously training every day but it's been a tough week for us and Portadown you know with three matches in, in a week and we were getting a bit leggy there and including myself you know the last sort of when I got brought off I was, I was, I was on my last legs and uh, but we've got a great squad and the boys that, we, that came on are, are just as strong so we've got a, a good squad and hopefully that'll stand us in, in good stead for the season. And Connor Mag is in such good form and of course got himself another goal tonight um, it must be great for you to play with you know such players around you as well. Yeah, it's great, you know, coming here, coming from Glenavon, obviously I knew the, the change room I was coming into and the, the players that are here, but Max, you know, when, when he's on it, there's nobody stopping him in the league and he's proven, you know, he's proved that last year and he's, he started off like a house on fire this year again, you know, And but there's quality all through the change room and no matter who plays, you know, we're capable of beating anything. The squad has such depth, um, as you've said there, you know, people that come off the bench tonight, there was a triple substitution and of course one of them, Plum, got himself the third goal and uh, Ali Roy, another sub, did that lovely run and pass for him to, to slot it in. Yeah, that's it. Hervoy came on, done super. He got himself a goal and he, and he near scored a second there towards the end. He probably should have finished. He'd be disappointed if he'd seen that back. But, you know, that just shows the team we have. We changed their whole midfielder, you know, at the end with three three midfielders off and three midfielders on. So it just shows you, you know, we've got lots of versatility in there and with boys that can play all different positions, which is, which is good. And James, your former club, of course, Glenavon, have done yourselves a favour tonight, of course, beating Gold Korean. You must be delighted you're sitting top of the table now. Yeah, delighted, but we'll not look not look into it too much. Obviously, we're, we're four games into the season. And there's a lot of football still to be played. So, Nuri next week, hopefully the boys will get a good break here over the weekend and we'll be back at it Monday morning. But great result for Glenavon. I still keep out, I keep an eye out for the results. You know, I have a lot of friends down there and, and I have a lot of respect for the manager. So, yeah, I'm keep rooting for them as well. And you're enjoying your time at Glen Torren, being full time, of course, professional. Yeah, it's great. That's why I, that's why I left Glenavon and and uh, went to the Glens. You know, it was uh, just the, the professional side of it. You know, training every day. It's something I wanted to be part of. And um, unfortunately, Glenavon weren't in a position, you know, to go full time, and that was the main factor that I've came.